basic properties of electric charge so far we have learned that positive electric charges can be of two types positive and negative and also when the these two different type of charges positive and negative are brought closer to each other they cancel out each other's effect net, net result is zero in this video we will learn three basic properties of electric charges first is the additivity of charges second is the conservation of charges and third is quantization of charges but before going into the details about these properties first we should know what is a point charge we can call a charged body as a point charge if the size of the body is very small as compared to the distance between the bodies for example say these are the two charged bodies and these are the two charged bodies and the distance here we can see is large as compared to the size of the bodies so distance is much much greater than the size of the bodies so in this case we can call them as point charges but not in this case when these are the same the the same two charged bodies but in this case the distance is comparable to the size of the bodies or even less than the size of the bodies so we cannot call them as point charge not point charges in this case so this is about point charge now we are going into the details of the properties first we will take the property of additivity of charges additivity of charges charges are scalar quantities we denote charges as plus some your five some units minus three some units whatever is the appropriate unit we are using so charges are scalar quantities these are not vector as the force and other physical quantities and charges can be added like real numbers so if we have a charge of uh, plus 5 unit and a charge of minus 3 unit then what will be the net charge of the system uh, we will find the net charge by simply adding them algebraically 5 minus 3 that will give us two units the, so the net charge of the system will be two units uh, for example you can take this uh, uh, do this example like I have a system which have has three charges plus six minus four and say it is plus two what will what is the net charge of the system it is very simple you can do it now going into the second property the which is conservation of charge conservation of charge we have hint about this property in first video about electric charge we have seen that when two bodies were rubbed one got positively charged and other body got negatively charged and when we again brought these bodies in contact net effect means net charge was zero net charge was zero initially charge was zero and finally also charge was zero so it, it was an example of conservation of charge so initial charge and final charge uh, is, is same uh, and at any point of the time net charge on an isolated system is unchanged or conserved so we can say that uh, for any isolated system net charge is always conserved it is uh, uh, it is only an experimental law we can say and there is not a single experiment uh, or any observable physical phenomena where uh, violation of conservation of charge has been observed so going to the third property which is quantization of charges quantization of charges means that 
charge is charge on any body is an integral multiple of some fixed thing and in this case charge is always an integral multiple multiple of e e is the basic unit of charge basic unit of charge and and it is the charge on an electron an electron has a charge of minus e and it is the charge on pro on a proton proton has a charge plus e the value of e is 1 1 1.602192 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulomb 1.602192 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulomb but for practical purposes you will require only 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulomb for almost all the calculation which we will be doing in this course so one thing one example for your homework on uh, can you tell me how many electrons how many electrons will make minus one coulomb for answer watch the next video in which i will explain you how to calculate the number of electrons in minus one coulomb till then see you